Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and today is another vlog. I am so excited because I am going on a week-long holiday to Jens's parents' cottage with him and two of our friends. It's gonna be so amazing and of course I'll be filming everything and just letting you guys in on this very low waste, low impact vacation and generally just as having a goofy fun time. That's what this is about. You requested more summer holiday vacation isk vlogs with things that we do over the summer, so this is a perfect option to do that. But before we get started, this video has a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Native, a vegan and cruelty free skincare brand and their plastic free deodorant. Ayiha. At this point, I have partnered up with Native quite a few times and I've been using their products for even longer. For the longest time, my favorite has been this scent. It's cucumber and mint. But now I'm sort of transitioning into another scent. Let me tell you right now, citrus and herbal musk owns me. Yeah. These deodorants are also aluminium free, paraben free and sulfate free and they apply perfectly and makes me feel fresh even after a run or even after I do my exercises. And Native is also a 1% for the planet partner. Three deodorants are normally $39 but with my code and link they're $29 aka 25% off and you can find all the information you need down below. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. Now I am packing everything from the laundry room into the closet now and babe yep. I'll just put all your clothes in the closet and then you can pack it on your own accord Thank you. Right? Thank you, that's, uh, that's nice otherwise I will be stressed the if So in contrast to last time I'm not gonna be packing your things Not gonna be packing your things oh no Oh no, this slightly out of tune, yeah. So it's nice summer weather out, that's great. <laughs> it's pouring, absolutely pouring. And uh, we're gonna go pick up our friends and we're gonna go to the cottage. Yay! Yay! We once again borrowed your parents' car. Room, room. room. So we just arrived at the cottage and I am sort of unpacking. I'm in the bathroom right now. Hello. So we have a couple of things. I have my cleansing milk. I have my, this is like a clean primer, which I have been loving. Then I have the native deodorant and this is my current deodorant of choice. It is with, let's just, come on girl. This is with citrus and herbal musk. I love this. It's so nice. And then we have some small makeup products. I have my makeup remover wipe which I always forget and just use water and I can always see it when I come back home. My face is not having it anymore. Now I brought all this stuff. Mm. Also brought my hairbrush, which I also forget usually. Now let's see if I will remember to use them. Vacation mode initiated. So we're like in the process of unpacking. I just really wanted to show you that the bed sheets that I'm once again using, these are from the 70s. I love this to bits. I think I've showed it in other videos as well, but just like, Look at this aesthetic. Look how nice. So like, we, we brought the D&D &D vibe to the yeah. cottage. <laughs> Let's just see here, do these roll Are you well? just flexing the dice at this point? That's what's Let's happening. What, like, don't roll characters with these. Though. No. <laughs> Truth be told, don't, don't roll anything on this table. No, no, no it's very no. loud. Like this? How's that sound? Does that sound good on the video? This. So we made punch. Maybe it's punch. Maybe it's just a cocktail in a big pot. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> but it's good. Okay. Uh, the Dark Arts. What is the name of the orphanage in which Professor Dumbledore finds Tom Riddle? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the orphanage of inciting incidents. That's untrue. Oh, dang! <laughs> Wolves Orphanage. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, Hogwarts. What <laughs> subject does Professor Sprout teach at Hogwarts? Uh, but, uh, but, uh, 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 so we're going to be eating our dinner outside and we decided to make burritos. So we have basically everything. We have some vegan cheese, guac, we have beans, greens. Then we have a vegan nuggets slash these chicken chunks from Like Meat. Life is good, y'all. After dinner, we went to the beach where Jens and Christian went for a swim, but it was freezing, you guys. So I didn't go for a swim. I just laughed at them when they were cold. 
getting ready to go to bed after the first day and we haven't even been here full day. It's already so nice. Tomorrow we're gonna do some work, we're gonna work out and uh, then I'm going to make a pasta dish for dinner. It's very low stakes here at the cottage. I think you can perhaps get that vibe. Good morning, we'll be starting the day with oatmeal, with peanut butter, hazelnut butter. Yes. And mimosas. <laughs> this is important. I have to check something in the basement. There's no basement. I am being a silly goose. Ah, you're being <laughs> silly. Let's make oatmeal. We're just gonna... We're just gonna... Ooh. Well, shit. Ooh. Oh my god. And I've also gotten some new B12. This is liquid B12, so hopefully this way I'll actually remember to take it. Okay, good morning. I have my water with some black currant and the B12, and then oatmeal with all kinds of nut butters and a little bit of chocolate. Now I have office hours and um, mimosas. This is like a classic cottage leftovers for lunch type situation. Just everything on a tortilla and then we're golden, right? Yep. Zero wasting here. <laughs> Y'all be zero wasting. Yes, indeed. I'll be there to help clean up just in a second. I am just finishing up a thumbnail that I'll be making. No, yeah. no, you just, you just, you, I mean, I'll, you take care of your job, I'll take care of the fire. Created fire! <laughs> <laughs> Jens got the fire going, it's so nice, and now we really feel like we're in the cottage for real. Hey babe, hey. should we get started on our exercises? I'm, I've, I've already begun. You have already begun? Yes, I am uh, way ahead of you. So I had this plan that where I want to turn the exercise into some sort of game. Yes. So do you want to do like a where I do one exercise, then you do my exercise, plus two repetitions of another exercise, of then I do my one exercise, your two exercises, and then three repetitions, and then we move up onto 20? Yes! Let's definitely do that. That sounds right. Let's see how far we can go from here. So, okay, you ready? Yes. So, I'll start out. Yes. I'll do one jump squat. Oh. One jump squat. One out. Two of these. And then... Okay. And then up. And then... And then four. Push-ups. Okay. Five mountain climbers. No. <laughs> We're almost done. I'm gonna do the last round. So here we have one jump squat, two leg rises, three high knee knee. Rises, knee high knee kicks, four push-ups, five mountain climbers, six jumping jacks, seven burpees, eight, eight, cr eight crunches, nine back crunches, and then 10 second plank. One boycott Nestle, two boycott Nestle, three boycott Nestle. All right. It's slightly pouring out, which is, when you don't have to do stuff, that's the best type of weather, I feel like. So we're just gonna stand in the rain a little bit. Jens and I went for a walk and tried to take a cute picture with some wildflowers, but mostly it just looked like I was peeing by the side of the road, hashtag fail. Nu har jeg været spurgt officielt. Jeg filmer også, okay. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Yesterday, you went to Albeck to go to a job interview mm -hmm. and came home with the news that one of our common friends was in a car accident. <laughs> and like, she's okay-ish. Mm -hmm. It seems like she's on crutches and there's something with her knee, but we invited her to come and stay with us. So the yeah. boys are in the car right now. They're gonna go get her. So we're gonna be more people in the cottage, which is great. Yeah, which is the amazing. The more the better. The more the merrier. Uh, and right now we're just gonna be baking some twisters. Cinnamon-ish twisters. Dough has arisen. The filling? filling of the twisters will be mixing. I say we, I definitely mean you. Mm -hmm. We'll be mixing this hazelnut spread with some agave and some chocolate mm -hmm. and hopefully reach what I can only describe as probably divinity. This is the best jar I ever did see. It's so big and when it's done, it's gonna be perfect for food storage. I knew there was a reason why we drank all that wine. <laughs> I knew there was a purpose to it. Hashtag upcycling. Okay, this is next level. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the plan, Phil? So what do you say, like, this is the Swedish method? Yeah, I think so. I mean, might not be. M might not be, you know, might like not just urban some... myth. Yeah, urban myth. So like you twist it around your finger. And you do like this, and you 
you shake your fingers around and then you give like a little like a IKEA bun. And they're sort of like small and tiny so you can eat many of them. Cool. I could just eat this, you know, that would be okay too. <laughs> so my girl is a champion. Look at these, this is so nice. Later we went to the beach again and this time I had to try out the water. It was so much better than the other day. We also collected trash from the beach because, you know, pick up three. Okay, so we also just spent an additional, what, like two minutes looking for cigarette butts because they are just everywhere around here. Uh, sort of collected them and now we're gonna bin them as well. But this is definitely one of my biggest trash pet peeves because a lot of people just throw these because it doesn't feel like waste when in fact they won't ever biodegrade. Throw the whole person out. Jens has returned. He went to Olberg to pick up our friend Vanya, who is now stationed in the couch. She's in a little bit of pain, but she seems to be okay. Now she's all settled in, which is great. So we're gonna go and check out some thrift stores. We're at the first thrift shop and there is actually a thing that I'm looking for. I really want to elevate Molly's eating and drinking game to sort of like a classy new level. I want to find her water bowl that is super fancy looking. It's on my list of things that I really want to find for the dog. For me and myself, not so many things I need. Mm. Let's go mask. Let's go mask. Yay. Boston and Eli Consolidated Mining Company. Huh. This mirror, by the way. What is this and why is it staring directly into my soul? It's a lamp. It's apparently a lamp. Guys, we got it. Look at this. She will now be drinking in style, little dog. In the evening, we had a little Magic the Gathering tournament. I just love the unstable version. Okay. I would just like to say that we are the cool people at the table playing magic and they are the teenagers over here giggling at their phones. Yes. We're, we're, this is facts. We're such cool people, y'all. So like we have tons of creatures here. Jens has tons of creatures. What's going on over here, Bradley? End me. Put me out of my misery. Counter, by the way. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. <laughs> this seems bad. Good morning everybody, I literally just woke up and uh, I'll get started on my morning routine in a second. Later in the day we're gonna go thrift shopping again, checking out some of the other stores and then we're gonna go outside, enjoy nature, it's gonna be great. But first, skincare and work. The tables have turned a little bit because I just really want to photo document your outfit because you are go wells. Jens is sporting three different patterns right now. Can you tell me about your outfit? Yes, these are um, these are some like old sort of suit pants actually that have been turned into shorts. I don't like, I wish I could have had the entire suit in this material. And then this is a shirt. It buttons in the front and it doesn't button in the back. And this is, I think this was my dad's at some point and this has sort of been become my my, my, um, my summer jacket and it can't quite. Oh, it actually can. And I will do not appreciate the fact that you are laughing at my uh, my fit. No, I love it. Respect the drip, Karen. <laughs> By the way, we are back at the thrift store. Oh, and your shoes are thrifted, babe. Yes. These are them, them must be thrift shoes. I have died and gone to vintage shirt heaven. Look at these. What the heck? It has swordfish. Okay. These come to life at night. You cannot tell me otherwise. It See, like you moving. haven't been here before. Nope. I've locked from this place as well. And this forest is just absolutely magical. I'm pretty sure there's a witch somewhere. <laughs> You're right? Right. Whoa. Yeah. So you might wonder, well, what is she doing? She doesn't know. We come here every single time we're in the area, basically, yes. right? Whenever we're in the cottage, we usually have one day where we go out here just for, for, for a little while. Because we need to be reminded that magic is real. Yes, I mean, look at it. <sighs> and we're playing D&D &D tonight. Yay! It's perfect, yes! Let's go home. Also, I need to pee. Yes, working with the crutches. We bought Vanya this shirt at the thrift store and it's perfect. How are we dealing with the accident? Yes, exactly. But you look hot though. Yeah, I do. 
Slutty dad. Y'all, y'all look beautiful. Yeah. Y'all beautiful peoples. We will go and make the lunch. I made more pasta than there is pasta in the world. So we're also having pasta for lunch now. And some greens, but mostly pasta. See, I've never played with this D&D &D Beyond app before. That's pretty neat. And we're almost no. ready to go. Uh, Are you laughing? Paper, guys, what's wrong with paper? No, like it's fine Save with paper please. if you if you hate the forests. <laughs> Just introduce your characters. It's My name is Ellie Ash. I come from a family of noble wrestlers. <laughs> MMA, there we go. MMA. MMA is exactly and uh, my character is sort of based off of Spinelli from Recess So she is like an adult like this, but just imagine her also now being a tiefling. Yes And with a big axe. And a big and a big a great axe yeah. No, it's not just a big axe. It's, it's a, a great axe. It's a great axe. axe She comes from a noble family and she has the best half-sister she could ever possibly imagine in the entire world and she's just here for shits and giggles, and she's a bard, and she goes hard. Uh, I am uh, Aiden Spiritcrest, a halfling and a cleric of the Brightfather. Uh, came from a, uh, a little uh, inn in the uh, halfling uh, homestead called uh, the Spiritcrest, and they had a gimmick about being very religious, but uh, he took it a little more to heart and decided <laughs> to, um, to actually uh, cleric up. Hello! <laughs> this is Betty B. She's a half orc, and um, she has the same mother as uh, Belladonna. Anything I roll is above, yeah. Oh. Okay, there's also some good uh, this spot. Yeah, but this is just the amount of creatures I can put to sleep. Oh, the amount of hit points. Uh, yeah. Is how many hit points of creatures is. Okay, so that is 10, 18, 20. Uh, for my bonus action, I will inspire. Ashes to ashes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go smash these smashies. All right. Yes. So I take yes. my big axe. Yes. And Your great axe. My great my my great axe, and I uh, try to smash it with my yes. great axe. So Ooh. eighteen. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You don't know. You don't need it. No. D and D is done, and we're just gonna go for a night swim. We are specifically not. <laughs> no, I, I've got a tattoo and crutches. The others are, because look at this sunset. It's pretty darn neat. So we're going in the water. Look how nice it is. <laughs> Jens, are you gonna jump now? Jens, jump it! <laughs> we're in the car. Woo! All of us. I was so hoping someone would go room 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 room. room, room. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Dobles is having the time of her life. You're like her vacation parents, I feel like. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's good. And we're going to the local breweries to have some cider. So we have locally brewed raspberry lemonade. Um, yes, please. <laughs> is it just me or is that hammock in there just speaking my love language? Today has been really slow. Jens and I drove Vanya back to Oldberg and then we came back here. We have done a couple of small bits and bobs, but everyone is super tired today. I just took a nap for the first time on this vacation. Jens has been napping right behind me, but he's kind of waking up. And both Christian and Luis is uh, napping inside. We're going to get up in a second, I guess, and make hot dogs, vegan hot dogs. I thought that was implied. The hot dog was perfection, by the way. Such a perfect summer vacation food. So it's the last day and we are packing right now to go home inside the cottage. So just thought I wanted to check in like here outside in the beautiful morning. That's okay. Hey, moles. Molly. But what I initially wanted to talk about was sort of how you manage or how you balance your zero waste sustainability values when you're out with others and when you don't have access to the things that you normally have. There are some elements of my sustainable lifestyle that I don't compromise, like I pick up trash 
if I see it, I am vegan. I don't compromise those. That doesn't feel right to me. Um, but there are other things like being 100% plastic free, which you know isn't really a thing. It's impossible to be 100% plastic free anyway. But it's also something that I pay less attention to when I'm out, when I don't have the convenience of going to my farmer's market and my bulk store, etc. Um, so there are things where I sort of go, well, we can't really get this thing without plastic and we need it. So we're just gonna get it anyway. Of course, then there is recycling and we do all these things instead, reusing the packaging as long as possible. But I try not to be disappointed in myself or like angry or anything like that. There are none of these emotions here. Um, just checking in and sort of talking about that it's really important to sort of balance these things to be around others without having too high expectations of what is possible and what isn't possible and stuff. Um, so yeah, again, there are things that I am never not doing, like picking up trash, like reusing things over and over again, like being vegan. And then there are other things like buying in bulk uh, that I cannot always do. And I do it when I can. And when we're at the supermarkets, we only have access to normal supermarkets here. We don't get those fluffy, thin plastic bags. And we try to look at packaging, finding the things in less packaging. But of course, it's not going to be 100% perfect. But that's just how it goes. And that's also okay. Just packing up all my things in the bathroom. And I am so happy that I brought these. I actually ended up using them. So like... Yay. Also shout out to me for having almost calculated the correct amount of tooth taps I would be needing. We're packing up in malls? Isn't this like a little bit uncomfortable? Like, she just wants to be very close to the suitcases so she knows we won't forget her. Oh no, go on, no! <laughs> hey, models! Let me give you a little bit more room. Isn't this better, models? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. Also a big thank you to Native for sponsoring this video. You can still find the offer down below if you're interested. And also thank you to my friends because they wanted to be in my vlog and you know, go on a holiday and just this was so what I needed on every possible level. So thank you to everyone, also to you for watching this video. Have an amazing day. Take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste content and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!